Against the popular notion that opposites attract, the law of attraction simply means like attract likes. That means you will attract into your life the people, the things, the idea, the resources you yourself are. You attract what you are. Hello fam, welcome back to Time Out with B. My name is Blessing if this is the first time you are watching me and on this channel we talk about self-development. And on today's episode I'm going to be taking you through the law of attraction and I'll be explaining in simple terms how it can work for you. You can create the life you want, you can create your desired reality and I'm going to be, I'm here to explain to you in simple terms how to do that with the law of attraction, attracting positive attracting money good help into our life the idea of the law of attraction is that all things begin with our beliefs and our thoughts there are two types of creation before you can build something physically you must have finished creating it in your mind and if you do not complete the building in your mind you can never and you would never complete it physically i is that is the fact that is the truth for you to see a physical building that means it has been successfully executed in the mind in the mind of the creator they finished it and so before you can become a particular thing before you have to envision your ideal self and so it's it's a process I know we have to do the whole work, you know, wake up from your dream and act and put in the work and gather everything you need to actually become who you want to be. But the thing, the fundamental process is our mind. And it's as simple as our beliefs controls our thoughts. What we believe in, it controls the, the thoughts we have in our head. And our beliefs are shaped by several things. Our culture, our religion, the environment we find ourselves, and so many things. This set of our belief, what we've been told over and over again, why we're growing up, and all of those things, they set in motion our belief system. And our beliefs controls our thoughts. It is what we believe in that shapes the way we think and our thoughts further controls our words and we all know that our words forms our action whatever you say words are powerful um, words don't die our words forms our word and the words turns into action and what we do over and over again becomes our reality and that is why if you want to change your reality you need to go back to the beginning the source which is your belief and that is just how the law of attraction works if you can change your belief if you can renew your mind basically you can change your reality here are my strategies on how to apply the law of attraction in your life number one is confirmation bias ah this confirmation bias is so real it's it can be psychological but i'm going to explain it in simple terms whenever we watch a video we do not listen to what the speaker is saying whenever we read a book we do not hear what the writer is saying we hear what we want to hear that's why two people can watch a particular video and one person will say this is the best video i've ever watched it has changed my life and someone else will criticize that same video because we do not hear what they are saying we hear what our belief system allows us to hear so basically our belief system is like a filter that filters every information that enters into our system that enters into our mind human beings seek information that validates their beliefs they seek information that validates that confirms their belief and when we know this watch video that takes me to my strategy number two which is be aware of your beliefs ask yourself what do i believe about myself what do i believe about my current situation what do i believe about my current location what do i believe about this job i am doing what do i believe about where i am living 
Now, I want you to write down every of those beliefs, write them down and examine them one after the other meticulously and ask yourself, is this who I want to embody? Is this who I want to be? It's just like saying men are scum or believing men are scum and you expect to find a faithful man. It's not possible because you attract what you constantly dwell upon. You can't attract somebody good. And it is just the law of attraction that some people overlook and it's having great impact on their life. You can attract wealth when you think constantly that, ah, it's hard to make it in this country. It will be hard. Like, you, you don't understand. You're constantly professing it. It's hard to do this. It's, some people would say, oh, it's just a joke. Or, There's nothing that is joke about our spoken word or there's no joke with spoken words because you say it into your life. You... It's, um, I can't remember the percentage right now, but basically about 20 to 30 or 40 percent, they said is only what we say out. Then the rest, that means the, our spoken words is just 20 percent of what we think about. Then the rest, the remaining 80 percent, what do you think happened? Who do you think hears it? We hear it. And you constantly think about, oh, oh, it is hard to make it in this country. Oh, men has come. Oh, this life is hard, man. Oh, can I ever make this money? Oh, am I even good enough? We constantly think about that. And it's from the least thing we think, oh, it's not a big deal, to the major thing that are big deals that affect us. Examine each of those beliefs and start changing them. Make sure... And here is what I want to say. While you're changing your beliefs, make sure there are no negative words in your sentences. Make sure there's nothing negative in the new belief you're going to construct. It's just like you're trying to stay organized and you're saying, oh, I don't want to be disorganized. I don't want to be disorganized. Disorganization is a negative word. And the universe, let me put it that way, do not hear, I do not want to. It's just the disorganized that it picks up and, you know, start attracting, start attracting that same thing. So instead of saying, I don't want to be disorganized, when things are looking disorganized around you, you say to yourself, I am organized, I am orderly, I am neat, my environment is clean and uncluster, my mind is as organized as my life, my life is organized. You say it over and over again to yourself. Be aware of your belief. And I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight. But anytime you make a conscious effort to say positive things into your life. Moving on to my next strategy, I will say notice things but don't pay attention to them. What do you see in my hand right now? I want you to tell me in the comment section. So right now, pause and comment below. What do you see in my hand right now? Okay, I'm here to tell you that what you focus on expands. At the center of this paper, there is a dot. You see? At the center of this paper, there is a dot. A red dot precisely. So initially when you looked at the paper, the plain sheet, you did not, you probably did not notice the red dot. You probably just saw a white paper. Now look at it. What do you see immediately? When you look at it for a very long time, even if I take the paper away and bring it back, you continually notice what the red dot at the center because I've called your attention to that red dot. And that is how life is. Whatever you focus on, it expands. What are you focusing on? So here I am to tell you that notice things but don't focus on it. You will definitely notice the dark cloud. You will definitely notice things not working out. But why do you want to relive that experience over and over again? So upgrade your filter. If your belief is not serving you, upgrade it. 